Michigan and Loon Lakes struggle with aquatic invasive species, ranging from mats of Eurasian water milfoil covering the surface to starry stonewort invading fish habitat. The most infamous of them all, zebra mussels, covering our beaches and fouling our equipment. Invasive species interfere with fishing, recreational opportunities, and the aesthetic appeal of our inland lakes. Boat launches are often where new invasive species become established, suggesting boats and trailers are a major pathway. The simplest and easiest way to prevent more invasive species from reaching your lake is to clean, drain, and dry your equipment. To increase boater awareness, Michigan Sea Grant developed Clean Boats Clean Waters. Its focus is to teach volunteers how to inspect watercraft for invasive species. Here's an example of the program in action. Volunteers sporting blue shirts are stationed at boat launches to demonstrate the proper ways to inspect watercraft. What brings you to our lake today? Hi, uh, yeah, just out fishing. Uh, is there something I can help you with? Just wondering if you'd let me inspect your boating equipment. Um, we started a Clean Boats, Clean Waters program focused on educating boaters like yourself how to clean, drain, and dry everything to make sure that they're not spreading aquatic invasive species to our neighboring lakes and also to ours. Okay, sure, that'd be excellent. All right, that sounds good. The first thing to look at is for any plants, animals, or mud attached to the hull or any other part of your boating equipment that will be in the water. Yeah, I try to do that, you know, before I leave, but sometimes I just don't have the time. The easiest way to clean your boat is to have a routine, such as maybe working counterclockwise around your boat so that you always remember how to clean it, drain it, and dry it. Another important thing to remember is never to transport water or fish. So that's including dumping your bait buckets, um, disposing of trash, or possibly in a new container out in your truck. You know, putting up your propeller, making sure the water drains out, pulling the drain plugs, making sure that there's no water left in those live wells, and ensuring that you're not transporting any puddle of water anywhere else. So, you know, maybe we can bring a towel with you. That would be great, too. Well, thanks for the great information. Is that all? Also, it's really a great idea to inspect your fishing equipment. Make sure that your, your nets don't have plants in them, making sure your lures don't have anything, you know. A lot of lakes having issues with spiny water fleas. They're microscopic, tiny little guys. So it's a great idea to not only clean it, but also to dry it out in the sun. Wow, thanks for the great tips. Um, you know, I also heard something about letting your boat dry for three to five days. Um, is that something you guys advocate? You can either dry it out in the sun for three to five days, or you can run it through a car wash, which is kind of a faster, easier way to get everything off of it. And that's a really great tool. I mean, most car washes want to have a problem with it. Wow. Well, thanks for the great information. I'll really try to do this. I can offer you a keychain and also possibly a winch post sticker to help you remember all of these steps to take every time that you're out on the water. Let's do it. All right, sounds good.